Hi folks, this is uh, Jason. We're doing uh, evangelism today. My website is jasonbirdspreacher.com. We're Royal Blood Ministries. Uh, look us up on my website, jasonbirdspreacher.com. Jasonbirdspreacher.com on Twitter, Facebook, and website. So we're going to interview my brother, Mike, and uh, going to interview him. Hi, Mike. Hey. How's it going, bro? Oh, we, we took a team of four of us uh, down to Hyde Park yeah. and uh, what are your impressions with the going down there, the evangelism, the team and uh, and uh, the debates that we had, any thoughts? Yeah, um, what I found with Hyde Park is it's, uh, it's very difficult to have a fruitful discussion about things that are important with regards to faith yeah, yeah. Uh, and matters of religion. So whatever you bring, whatever evidence you bring down there, they will attack it. And there's not really a lot of room for manoeuvre to get your point across. You literally have to fight to speak down there. Um, we had a few debates about manuscript evidence of the Bible uh, with a man called Mansour. And his claim was that we don't have any early manuscripts, sorry, any early manuscripts dating within the first century of Christianity. So his, he was saying that we only have manuscripts written in the third century, thus creating the impression that the Bible's been, uh, it was written after the time of Christ, that people were, were rewriting history in order to fit certain theological beliefs and assertions. There's tons of evidence to suggest otherwise. Um, so Mansour was quoting um, Bruce Metzger and Bart Ehrman. <coughs> but what he didn't quote was that Bart Ehrman believes that the New Testament is reliable, historical, and Bruce Metzger agrees with that as well. So he was trying to create the impression that the New Testament cannot be trusted because two man one or two manuscripts don't agree. What Mansur doesn't take into consideration is these are just spelling mistakes, scribal errors, and they don't undermine the text or the integrity of what Christians actually believe. That has stood the test of time. So um, I also had another debate with Paul. Paul Williams is his name. Yeah. yeah. Paul Williams, and a very very difficult character to try and speak to. He's like all the Muslims down there, they, they won't let you get a word in edgeways, it's all, you must fit to their agenda. They ask the questions, you do You do the answering. They, they've got the control as they think, and you must jump through their hoops. But we changed, we changed the balance of that, and we weren't going to play to their agenda or know their, you know, their game when I was at Hyde Park. We came down there to preach the gospel and to show that Christianity is the truth and Islam is false. And that's what I think we did. And we made a little dent there. We're going to go again and we're going to do the same. Yeah, I think we did make a dent, didn't we? Yeah. As a team. Yeah. Uh, my, uh, the lady, I won't say her name, but a Christi Christian lady is an ex-Muslim. She gave a testimony. It was powerful. Yeah. Uh, Kieran did well in debating. You did well. I did. We, 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 we held our own. We, we, we certainly got no anyway yeah we we're certainly lifted the Lord up and uh, I think uh, they couldn't ignore the gospel and, uh, I think I think we backed up Jay Smith and his team so it, it was certainly well worth going down but it was hard tough it was a tough fight wasn't it, it was yeah it's like a dog fight if anyone knows about the Second World War you've seen German bombers coming over the coast, the south coast of England, and the English went to fight him, and it was called a dog fight. Yeah. Just chasing one another and attacking one another. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we, we, it was like being in on enemy territory. Yeah. You know, we yeah. were literally fighting, but you know what? We were fighting a good fight. <laughs> you know, we were fighting a good fight. And we did it in the right spirit, didn't we? We did, yeah. I say this to all Muslims out there. I, I, I just, I just urge you to go and check history out. Don't believe everything the imams are telling you. Don't believe all these claims of Islam because I can tell you now they're all false. Yeah, yeah. All false. Yeah. And uh, so, what do you think of Mansur? Um, he's a very articulate character. Yeah, yeah. He's okay. He's a nice person, but. What I found with most of the Muslims down there, they have this same spirit. Every one of them has this spirit of argumentation. It's a, a, 
it's angry. I found the very angry. Yeah. And they don't want to hear any criticism of Islam. Yeah, yeah. And one of the main tactics that Muslims do is to attack the Bible because that's all they know. We, they accuse us of lying. When we present evidence and they don't look at that evidence and they accuse us of being liars, that tells me dishonesty yeah. and hypocrisy. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. We're going to expose that next time we go down there. We're going to expose more hypocrisy when we go down there. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to stand up for Jesus and lift up the truth. Amen. Because Amen. we're not scared of the truth. If, we, if the truth is win, we can't speak against the truth. We can only speak for the truth. That's Amen. what we're going to do. Amen, bro. Amen. Amen. So, there we have it. Mike uh, telling us about Hyde Park. Uh, if you want to come down with us, if you're a Christian, uh, we're praying uh, about going down in uh, about four or five weeks' time. So if you want to come down with us, pray about it, get in touch with us. And um, yeah, so thank you for listening. God bless you. And thank you, Mike, for, for your sharing that. Can you put all that book up and tell us, just uh, recommend that book? Yeah, I, I would recommend reading this book. It's, it's a wealth of information. So what's it called? It's called Why Trust the Bible? Yeah. And it answers 10 tough questions. Yeah. Okay, people, the, the Bible's been attacked for centuries and it stood the test of time. And it'll really answer questions, manuscript, evidence, historical evidence. Yeah. Uh, in the bag here, if you want to point the camera. Yeah, yeah. Evidence to support the history, the history of the Bible, the archaeology of the Bible, yeah, and yeah. also to support the manuscript evidence of the Bible. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I've also got a file there that destroys any notion that Muslims claim that Muhammad is a prophet and is a descendant of Ishmael. I can prove categorically that that is not the case. And if any Muslim wants to challenge me on that, I'll take up that challenge anytime. Okay, there's your challenge, Muslims. You want to take on Mike when we go down there on Ishmael. Take care now. God bless you. Don't forget jasonburnspreacher.com, Twitter, Facebook, and we'll be having a new website called Royal Blood Ministries website coming in the next week or two. So God bless you. Take care.